वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश फोटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट अ पॉइंट शोन ऑन द एलिमेंट दिस इज द एलिमेंट द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस इज शोन डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज एन इन बी मैक्सिम इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट स्पेसिफाई द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ ईच इन एलिमेंट इन ईच केस एंड शो द रिजल्ट ऑन एलिमेंट सो फ्राम दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस this is the compressive stress clear and we have the shear stress as well so from this figure i have written the given data sigma x is minus 30 ksi sigma y is 0 and top xy is minus 12 ksi why minus 12 i have explained it already in previous problem and during this problem i will explain it again we have to find the principal stresses that is sigma 1 and sigma 2 and then we have to find the in plane maximum in plane sharing stress as well as with average sharing stress so we will i will write average sharing stress okay and in part c it is given that specify the orientation of each element in each case and show the result on uh, the element so let's start with the solution so as we know that in our part a we have been asked to find the principal stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 and we know that principal stresses sigma 1 comma sig 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus top of xy whole square okay so you need to put the value sigma x is minus 30 minus sigma y is 0 divided by 2 sorry first one is plus 1 okay divided by 2 plus minus sigma x is minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus top of xy is minus 12 whole square so when you solve this you will get sigma 1 comma 2 will be equal to uh, you have two values one is this minus uh, this will be this value will give you minus 15 so you have to first add this value this will sigma 1 comma 2 and this value minus this will give you sigma 2 so i will write them sigma 1 will be equal to if you first add first add you will get sigma 1 is 4.21 ksi and if you subtract you will get sigma 2 is equal to minus 34.2 k s i and these are known as principal stresses so we will now find orientation of principal stresses because we have to plot them on the element so orientation orientation of principal stress at which angle they are lying so we are basically finding that so for that we have formula i have already explained all these in my lecture problems of transformation of stresses so you, if you want to revise them you can go back tangent of 2 theta p where theta p is the plane for maximum stress is the r plane plane for principal stress is at the plane at which principal stress is lies and this is equal to tau of xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 so you can put the value tau of xy is minus 12 sigma x is minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2 and that is equal to 0.8 so from here we will get theta p will become equal to 19.33 degree and 
माइनस सेवेंटी पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन डिग्री नाउ वी हैव टू एंगल्स हाउ वी विल नो दैट सिगमा वन इज लाइंग एट विच एंगल एंड सिगमा टू लाइंग इन विच एंगल सो फॉर दैट अगेन वी हैव दिस ट्रांसफॉर्म स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू सिगमा एक्स प्लस सिगमा वाई डिवाइड बाई टू प्लस सिगमा एक्स माइनस सिगमा वाई डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू कॉज ऑफ टू टीटा प्लस टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई साइन ऑफ टू टीटा सो यू कैन जस्ट पुट टीटा यू कैन जस्ट पुट टी फर्स्ट टीटा पी इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन पॉइंट थ्री डिग्री इन दिस इक्वेशन ए clear so you will get sigma x dash comes out to be minus 34.2 ksi you can do it by yourself you have to just put sigma x sigma y value and cos of 2 theta will be 2 into 19.33 so you will get minus 33.34.2 ksi so it means that you can see this this will be your theta 2 uh this will be your sigma 2 because this is now at this is 30 and after transformation this comes out to be 34.2 so your that is equal to sigma 2 clear and this theta p will be equal to theta p2 and that is equal to 19.3 degree while the other angle theta p1 will be equal to minus 70.67 degree now you have this value we will move toward our second part and at last we will plot them on the element so in b part you have been asked to find the maximum shear that is in plane and average stress so we know that average stress is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so minus 30 plus 0 divided by 2 will be equal to minus 15 ksi so sigma average is minus 15 ksi and this a maximum in plane shear stress is equal to this maximum in sharing in plane is equal to under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square so put the value sigma x is minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy is minus 12 so minus 12 whole square and that will give you maximum in plane shear so this maximum in plane shear will comes out to be 19.2 ksi now what will be its location so for that we will find orientation orientation of maximum in plane shear and that is equal to tangent of 2 theta s where theta s is the plane for maximum shear in plane that is minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 divided by tau xy so put the value minus minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2 divided by minus 12 and this will be equal to minus 1.25 so tangent of 2s theta s so theta s will be equal to we will get two values minus 25.7 degree and 
theta s is minus 25.7 and 64.3 degree now you can put it in the shear stress equation so you will know uh, that uh, both will give you the maximum shear in plane shear stress that will be this okay now we will plot uh, our part first that is principal stress is this one and the in plane uh, sorry principal planes so let me draw over here so you can see that if this is your initial axis x and y x and y so your uh, theta p2 is 19.3 which is positive it means that this is in counterclockwise direction so this will your new x dash and this will be your new y dash and when you draw the element it will be like that okay you can resize them i'm going to elongate it okay so now you have to mention this is your uh, sigma 2 which is 34.2 there and this will be sigma 1 which is this one sigma 1 this is your sigma 1 because sigma 1 is positive and this angle is 19.33 degree okay now we will move toward uh, this part here we will draw the same so you can see this is your initial axis x and y so for maximum in shear the angle is 25.7 that is minus 25.7 so clockwise it means this is clockwise so this will be your new x dash and this will be your new y dash okay and when you draw the element so the element will be like this okay and the stresses on this element will be equal to the maximum in plane shear is 19.2 so it will be like this this will be your tau max and the average sharing stress is minus 15 ksi so average sharing stress will be this this will be sigma average that will be both in x dash direction and y dash direction so this was all about our uh, problem number 9.14 uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, again there are many other problems that is from mechanics of material by bear and johnson available on my channel and i have started mechanics of material by rc hibler and this is the chapter 9 of rc hibler so if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also if someone is new to my channel then subscribe it and do comments thank you for watching my channel